My life be like wow. Yeah My life be yeah. like This is Emperor Marvel. Today we've got a game of Cunar Base. I don't know. <laughs> With the M1A1 red dot sight uh, standard size mag. I should have put extended mag on really because I have them. But this is the first time using this uh, red dot sight thing. So yeah. Anyway, this is Medal of Honor Beta. And it is good. I like it. And I've uploaded this whole, this whole game unedited. So I'm going to you can see all my deaths, all my kills, all everything. So, I'm going to get off to a good start here, but I'm a bit surprised. I thought I could have, you know, got a couple of shots off. But, um, this game's good. We actually do lose, but I thought instead of trying to get a try hard game where I go super positive and, uh, win, I thought I'd. I like that bit there, a bit of a uh, head detection lag. I thought I'd give you a game where we don't win and it's more an average game. It's just like an average game in Battlefield. I do my I do a fair bit of capping. I realised I was playing this last night and I wasn't doing any capping, but I was like throwing smoke down my team and like telling them to go, and I just want to support them. But they were not. Everyone's just like wanting to kill everyone, so I thought, oh well. So this match I was trying to get onto the points more, and I've since I've had this match I've been getting onto the point more, and we have been, I've been winning more matches. But I just want to talk about a bit about the beta. Oh, I can't believe I go there. Already, that that's going to be like if that was in Call of Duty, that'd be like the quad corridor. But anyway, so my first opinions about this game were yeah, I like this game. I much prefer it. I prefer it much more than um, Battlefield. I've got Battlefield Bad Company 2. And Battlefield Bad Company 2 is a good game. I like it, but I like this game more because the weapons seem a bit more. Oh, I like that, that shooting through the dust there. I've got to keep getting distracted, but... I like the fact that the maps are smaller, but so it's actually more... Um, it's more based towards Call of Duty players, so that we can come... So I'd, I'd class myself as a Call of Duty player, even though I'm trying to get away from that. I probably am just a Call of Duty player, but... But, um... Yeah, so since the maps are smaller, they're definitely... It's definitely... I feel like much more comfortable playing at this. And then... So, yeah, definitely, I didn't like the idea of the big maps of Belleville, since, even though I mean, Rush was my favourite game type. But, um, oh, this bit. He shoots someone else and just spins around and gets me. Well, I'm purposely aiming where he is. That's that's just, he must have just got a lucky headshot on me. I don't think he was even aiming down sight. He just sort of turned around and just sort of shot at me randomly. But anyway, this game's good, and I prefer it to Battlefield Bad Company because the maps are smaller, and I feel that the guns shoot, like, kill faster, but that could just be me. Uh, other features I like about this are when you get a kill, it pops up sort of like Modern Warfare 2, but not as bad. It looks more and more smooth and nicer than it did in than it does in Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 looks a bit it's almost, almost kiddy. So, it's good. The, um, the guns look good. The guns look really sort of like the guns look, and since most of the guns are from, you also have a Call of Duty games, you can see how most of the similar highlights are here, one, is that two, ah, oh, I thought I got three, oops, uh, the guns look a lot more realistic, and I like the way you walk, and you actually sort of, you sort of uh, go left and right, so that's good, um, there's not much bullet depth, as there is in Battlefield Bad Company 2, but, I don't really mind that, it means that I can sort of pick this game up and play it a bit easier than I can with Battlefield. Because I find Battlefield, the bullet dip, you've got to kind of get used to it and then judge it more. But with this, it's more fast paced gameplay, whereas Battlefield I find is a bit more slower. Uh, I like the idea that they're releasing it for now. When I'm doing this commentary, they're releasing it in like a week's time or something. And it's funny how they're doing it a month before Black Ops. And this is like a game which definitely cool, you can even play quite easily. So they're trying to get people who like Call of Duty to get this game. To possibly stop so to stop. Possibly to get more sales than Call of Duty just so that this game gets more popular and they're like, oh well I like this type of game and I'll buy this one. So yeah. Uh, here I'm just hopping on this point because I realise that they're not spawning here anymore and I need to get on because we're behind by a couple of points. Uh, even though basically over halfway through the video, I might as well talk about 
the layout of the screen. So at the top right hand corner is got the beta. And the top left hand corner is UAV and all the points. So it's quite small and it's quite congested, but if you know what you're looking for, you can more or less figure it out. Bottom left hand corner, there's two bars and none. And there's and there's three like sort of squares. If they're like two of them are orange now, because those are the two that the enemy have, one's blue and that's what we have. And then two bars, we're blue and they're orange. So as you can see, we're reasonably close, but they are ahead of us. So, so I'm just trying to hop on these points, just to try and cap them and get ahead. So uh, another thing on the right here, I have, I think I have a UAV because there's a bit of orange and a bit of blue, and then there's two a blue button and an orange button. If you press five, it gives you an offensive sort of kill streak, which could be an artillery strike, a mortar strike. And if you click the right one, it could be, it's a really defensive one, I think, and it might give you, I haven't actually used it yet, because I'm like, oh, I want kills. It could be more of a, um, I think it might be more ammo, or stuff like that. But uh, I like that idea that, depending on how you're playing, you can either use offensive or defensive type of kill streaks, which I really think is a good idea. And I like the idea that there's kill streaks in, like, because in Battlefield you had the, uh, Mortar strike thing, the uh, sniper rifle guy. I didn't like that idea because you could just sort of continuously do it. But I like the fact that in this way, actually, you have to get not kills, actually, points. Because underneath that on the right, there's a zero, then slash 50. And when I get to 50, I think I get a UAV or mortar strike. And then that goes up to 100. And then as you get kills or take points or get assists, etc., etc., you get more points. So you could almost not kill anyone and still get one of those kill streaks as such. I could just get loads of assists and get up to 50 and not get a single kill, but still get a thing. So I like the fact that even though you're not getting kills, you're still getting points and you're still helping the team out with offense or defense kill, de kill streaks. I'm not entirely sure what the bottom bit is. I think the bottom bit, uh, the very bottom right, spits about ammo and how much I've got left in my clip and how much I've got left all together. So rule up braces. I'm, well, I'm not sure I'm probably going to pick up this game, but um, look out for a couple more um, videos. I've got, I'm starting a new series called What's This Game? Uh, I've done two series for that, so look out for that, that will come out soon. Um, probably need some more Metal of Ronaldo gameplay, because I filmed for a couple of hours and got some nice clips. So I might make a small sort of beta montage. Yeah, I think I'll probably make a beta montage. So thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, and see you soon. Bye.